friendly man. <laughs> He's hilarious. <laughs> What's up Vancouver? Today I'm taking my dirty ass Mazda 3 car to a car wash to see how well they can clean it. Um, so the car wash I'll be going to today is called MJ, M and J Car Wash. And uh, it's just right before Granville Island if you're curious. And I think it's about $30, $32 and we'll see how good of a job they can do. We're on our way to get our car washed. I'll show you the outside of the car. Okay, when you see my car, do not be shocked. Mm, just haven't had the time to clean it, you know? I'm not a lazy bastard. Well, maybe a little bit lazy. First step is finding my car. I can't even find my car. I don't know where I parked it. It's been so long since I drove it. <laughs> Sitting here waiting for an Uber so I can go get my car, which was apparently towed. Um, by the construction guys over there. Now, his story doesn't really add up. He says that I was towed um, because there were signs up and that was around the 4th or the 5th. Now, I haven't driven my car since uh, June. So, yeah, the last week of June, I drove it to my parents' house and parked it. So this story doesn't make sense. I'm gonna see what the process is like to fight a towing ticket and let you guys know how that goes. All right, guys, I'm here in my $30 Uber. Let's see if I can also get the city to refund this when, <laughs> when I dispute the ticket. Uh, we're here at the dreaded Buster's Towing, a place nobody really wants to come to pick up their car. We'll see how it goes. Just got finished at uh, Buster's Towing. That took forever. They're not the best customer service, but um, yeah, they said the dispute was uh, done online, so I'll show you guys that process. And so there was a ticket, as well as the towing fee, as well as it being here for three days because I don't really check my car, but let's go get it washed and then I'll show you the dispute process. M&J car wash, let's see how it goes. Um, this is the one thing I like about this place is that you stay in your car, or you can stay in your car, and uh, they wash it like right in front of you as a hand wash, so. I've been here twice, but I've never been here with such a dirty car. So we'll, again, we'll see what they can do. Check this out. Look at that. Look at that mold and grime stuck on my car from camping last year. Um, yeah, I, I forget if they clean the inside, but maybe they'll do like a quick vacuum or something like that. Here we have a lineup. I think I'm uh, fourth in line. So we'll see how long this takes. It's 10:25 uh, a.m. I will check back in with you guys shortly. So you can see that they clean the inside of your car too, which is really cool. Um, I guess they give it a vacuum. We'll see. I have a bunch of shit in here, so we'll see how good of a job that they do. <laughs> what a friendly man. <laughs> He's hilarious. So even though I arrived before this guy, um, he ended up getting first dibs. So maybe not the best, um, <laughs> best like tracking and stuff like that, but that's okay. I'm in no rush. All right, we'll see what they can do on the inside. It's messy as fuck. Say hi to YouTube. I'm doing best Vancouver car wash service. <laughs> see what they can do. Check out this shit. <laughs> Alright, they did a great job. Check this out. It's like super clean in here. Um, I don't know if they did the back, but yeah, it's super clean in the inside. So awesome job so far. Let's continue going. We got the, we got to drive up a little bit and now they're going to spray the shit out of my car. All right, let's check this out because this is a mess of a car. It's like being inside of a car wash uh, without the, without like an auto or without the automated part. <laughs> and I could be wrong, but I think this place employs um, 
I don't want to say criminals, but like maybe people that need a job really bad. It's really loud in here. I don't know if you guys can hear me. This guy's gonna have a tough time. So it looks like they're starting with a pressure washer and uh, <laughs> we'll see how much of the shit he can get off with just the pressure washer. It's gonna probably require a few uh, sprays, but again, we'll see what they can do. See like gunk like this on the side, like I wonder if it, like that kind of shit will get off. It sounds so loud that it sounds like the water's coming into the car. <laughs> Pretty good, the, the car washer is definitely getting off some of the gunk you can see. Great job. I feel like he's spending more time on my car, which makes me feel a little bit bad, but maybe I'll give them a great tip up at the end of this. Great job, like getting all the details and stuff like that. Yeah. Definitely doing a great job getting all the shit. <laughs> Look at all this shit flying around. The pressure wash was so strong that it came into my car. <laughs> There's water all in my car. I don't know where the hole is though. Super good job. You can see them working hard away. Again, they've spent probably like 15 minutes just uh, using the pressure washer to clean the car and now they're they're spending a decent amount of time. There's three people working on it. So again, crazy value for $32. I will definitely be giving them a tip. It's an amazing job. Okay, we're on to the final part, which is the drying. And so we just went through that little car wash area, which rinsed off the car after the soap. And now we have uh, people helping to dry the car, which is amazing. Again, awesome service. And if you guys want to come here, it is uh, MJ Car Wash here in Kitsilano. And again, you guys saw the before and check out the after. It's like super, super clean. So amazing job. Um, let's check out the front. Yeah, the front is, is clean too. You can see all that gross stuff is gone. All that stuff that was in here before, all this stuff, it's amazing. So, awesome job team. I mean, some areas were missed, but that's okay. It's like, you can't expect perfection when it was so dirty, <laughs> but that's okay. Let me show you the final result of the car wash. Um, again, for the price, it's really good, $32. Um, I gave them $40 total. Um, you can see that here is all very clean. Obviously some spots were, this is not a detailing, so it can't be the most perfect. Again, some green spots, again, were missed, but that's like, that's like over a year of buildup. So the front looks pretty clean. Um, yeah, this stuff maybe could have been cleaner, but again, it's been on there for so long that they did an amazing job. Some of this stuff is a little bit dirty still. Um, yeah, overall, I'm quite happy with the tires are a little bit green still. But again, the water only had so much time to soak to get off all the, the muck. So great job. Um, highly recommend that company. Now we're going to try to dispute that ticket because again, I did not drive the car for over a month. And basically, I feel like I'm guilty until proven innocent because not everybody takes a photo or like a video of their car and when they park it. So who knows when the signs actually come up for construction. The construction guy said that it came up like uh, in J July and I haven't driven the car in July. So I know I was definitely parked there uh, before July, but we'll see um, how the process of dispute goes. All right, so here we have a ticket. Um, let's see what they say. Stop at a place where traffic sign prohibits stopping. Okay, um, I don't know if it was a traffic sign. I don't think so, it was a construction sign, so that's wrong. And uh, $60 if paid by July 19th and $150 as the max. And here is the towing ticket, again, $188. And this does not include the ticket fine, obviously, plus my $30 Uber ride there. Let's see how much of this stuff we can get refunded. So. There is the dispute process, which is here. You can pay it online, vancouver.ca slash pay ticket. Or if you want to dispute, vancouver.ca slash dispute. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, here we are on the vancouver.ca slash dispute website. So here it says, you have a parking ticket adjudicated before you apply. 
um, for a hearing, um, you wanna view the photos. So let's see what kind of photos they took of my uh, car. Okay, so I've entered all the information here. They require the notice number, license plate number, issue date, which was July 5th. Again, I parked way before July 5th. I haven't used my car since I visited my family out in Langley in June. So let's see how this goes. They even require the time. All this information can be found on your actual uh, ticket itself. So I don't know why they require all of this, but let's just see what happens. So let's hit next. Okay, here we go. So you have unpaid Tickets on file, okay, great, I know that. Um, so here's the information. It says stop where prohibited and the location. Please be aware that photos are only one part of the evidence establishing the validity of your ticket violation. Lack of or errors in photos will not affect the valuation. Okay, this is like their cop out, I guess. Let's check out this, um, where I was parked. So I was parked in a, in a safe spot. Um, there seems to be a sign here that says no parking July 2nd to the 5th. But again, this was taken on the date that they gave me the ticket, which doesn't make sense because I was not, I was parked before July 2nd and I can assure you that I was at my family. I even have photos um, proving that, that I was out in Langley and that was actually the last time I drove my car. Now, how am I gonna prove that I was parked before this time? Other than that, I have no idea because nobody's walking around taking photos of their car every time they park. And I have a feeling that the construction company just wanted my car moved, um, which is fair. So here it says, um, you can either pay the ticket or if you're still not satisfied, read here to have the parking ticket adjudicated. Let's click on that. So how the, it takes you back to this website. So again, make sure that you check the photo and, and um, that there's nothing obviously wrong with it. So here's the adjudication process. Two to three months, that's pretty ridiculous. Um, an adjudicator cannot reduce the ticket amount. The issuing bylaw officer does not need to attend the hearing. A $25 fee is charged in addition to your ticket if the ticket is upheld. So you're actually charged a premium if, if um, you lose the case. So let's scroll down and complete the online application. So it looks like you actually have to attend the hearing. This is all stuff I, I probably wouldn't do other than creating this video. Um, but again, I just want justice. So let's see how this process works because I'm sure many of you are in the same situation. Again, you're probably here in Vancouver where these parking signs or these um, construction signs come up all the time, um, whether they're just cutting trees or doing construction. So let's take a look and let's fill this in and I'll show you the next step. Okay, I filled in all the information similar to before, license plate, vehicle, all that information. And let's see what happens when I hit next. Okay, they require all this other information too. So let's fill that in. Okay, so here are the process. They get you to fill in your name and stuff like that above. Um, they ask you when you want to appear for the hearing. I chose afternoon. And then your description of why you think this should be um, resolved in your favor. So here I said, the construction supervisor told me he towed the car on July 5th. He also told me that the car, if the car was parked there before the construction signs went up, which it was, that they can't tow it. I'm 100% certain that I was parked there on June 27th, which was the last time I drove my car to Langley to visit my family. I have photo and phone evidence to prove that. Now the photo and phone evidence that I have is basically me taking photos when I was out in Langley. Um, me and my sister were doing a photo shoot. And uh, other than that, I can't really prove that I, I haven't been driving. Maybe there's like Google Maps data that they can pull that shows that I never drove my car. Here, it also asks you, which is cool, that you can uh, choose your preferred method for your hearing, which I've never seen before. Uh, so by phone or in writing, I chose in writing. And then your email address, and let's see how this works. So send a duty, and they keep on getting you to potentially wanna pay. So I sent it off. Here's the confirmation number, and again, two to three months, and I will report back on how this works. Thanks.